Okay, AP calculus, particle motion. <clears throat> See Lindelof videos. We're given this position function. X of t is equal to 2t cubed plus 24t minus 4 cosine pi halves t for t is greater than 0. And we're asked when our particle moves left. So the first thing I'm going to do here is start to look for the velocity function here, right? And we know that that is the first derivative of position. So the first derivative of position is velocity. And I'm just going to start differentiating this piece by piece, and I'm going to get 6t squared plus 24, yeah? Minus 4. The first derivative of cosine is negative or opposite sine. Isn't opposite sine pi halves t? Remember, though, we have to take the derivative of the inside, right? And the derivative of the inside is just pi halves, isn't it? So when I clean this up, I'm going to get my velocity function. This is just me cleaning up my algebra or trig in this case. 6t squared plus 24. Negative times a negative is a positive. 4 times pi halves is 2 pi, isn't it? So plus 2 pi sine pi halves t. Wow, what a mess, right? So there's our derivative. The way I'm going to look at this is two ways, and this is actually not that bad. When you look at this function right here, I'm going to look at this in, in its two pieces. Say this piece right here, this thing has a minimum value of 24, right? This thing right here, just look at this for a second. This thing right here, this is its amplitude, and it has a horizontal axis of symmetry is equal to zero. So this thing has a minimum value of negative 2 pi. So when you put these two functions together, this thing never gets to zero. Um, this would probably not be on the calculator section, but if it was, I would just graph this and take a look because this thing clearly doesn't do that. In the absence of that, I can see how you'd start really starting to struggle with this. I wouldn't worry about it. I would look at this thing in its pieces as a composite function where the function is composite of this parabola right here and this trig function right here. And we know that their heights, the height is the accumulation of those pieces. So this thing never gets negative, never has negative velocity. Therefore, particle never moves left. All right? So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Appreciate it.